so scared. On my to-do list, like they always do this. Hey friends and welcome back to another video. I thought I would try something a little bit different in this video and try something a little bit new. I mean, it's not new for most people, but it's new for me. <laughs> like I've never really vlogged before. Like I've vlogged my reading experiences, but I've never really vlogged my life. <laughs> and I thought it would be fun for once to vlog my life <laughs> and to show you a little bit like of what I'm doing each day just the fun things though because um yeah sometimes i'm just like paralyzed on the couch and i'm like i don't know what to do with myself but you know on those times where i'm actually doing something i'm gonna show you so first i wanted to do my skincare and get ready for the day let's go do the skincare so my skin is going to look perfect <laughs> no i'm just kidding <laughs> okay let's go <laughs> This is my first step. I don't know. It's a German bread, I think. Oh, <laughs> jeez. <laughs> then I take a cotton pad and this toner. I got it from Amazon. And I think it's available internationally as well. But yeah, I really love this one. Then I let it dry and soak in. Okay, and once it's dry, I use this one. It does wonders for my skin and especially for my dark circles. Like, my dark circles have gotten so much better since I started using this one. It's still not perfect, like, like I've only used it for a week so far. Like there's still a lot of improvement to be had. <laughs> it still got a lot better. Like it was so much darker a week ago. So yeah. <laughs> Putting that soap in. And at night I usually also use the serum afterwards. I think the percentage is, is pretty high, but I accidentally bought this one and then I couldn't return it because it was like a hygiene product. <laughs> so yeah, I, um, I'm using this one now. I don't know if it's that bad that it's 2.5% instead of 1%. I'm not sure. But yeah, I always use this one at night before my moisturizer and after my Nia C Maiden. I use this one first and this one second. Yes. <laughs> But this one only at night, like I said. There we are again with the German brands. I think this one is a German brand and this one as well. But yeah, that's my eye cream and that's my moisturizer. All right, and then I'm done. I mean, my skin is not perfect, but you know, I'm still pretty happy with my skincare routine right now. basically done nothing today like not even my skincare nothing and I'm feeling like crap <laughs> I, it's not my day today I am just not feeling it I also had a fever last night and I was having a stomach ache today because I have this thing I wait I need to research how it's called in German in English not in German <laughs> I know how it's called in German okay it's almost the same because I got endometriosis is that how you pronounce it I'm suffering a lot during my period and before and after and like 
basically throughout the whole month in different ways. During my period, it's obviously the worst, but even like in between my periods, I still have certain symptoms like fever attacks or tummy aches or other things like migraines. It's all connected <laughs> to the endometriosis. I was having such big plans for today, like I really wanted to do a workout today, I wanted to film my TBR video today. And what did I do? Almost nothing. <laughs> if I'm not feeling that great, I'm allowed to rest. I'm allowed to just do what I feel like doing. And like, it's okay. I will have to keep reminding myself because I will always forget that. Like, I will always just think like, oh, I have to be more productive. I have to do all the stuff and I can't rest. But yes, I can rest and you can rest as well. If you need rest, please rest. This is my workout today. I'm always using the Lean with Lily app, web app, I don't know, I'm always using the website. And some good music can't be missing as well. I'm sweating. All right, let's take a shower. It has suddenly gotten very dark. Um, let me turn on some lights. Oh, I think it's a bit better. All right, um, <laughs> I hope it doesn't rain because I just wanted to go outside. I got my new bag that I got from my friend Sophie, my book bestie, and my headphones, and my new sweater from Hollister. This top is also from Hollister, but um, I don't think it's available anim anymore. And then I also have my pants. <laughs> and they're, they're from H&M, but they're actually a bit short. Like, let me show you. Oh, and it's raining. Yay, it's raining. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I've just gotten ready. I also got my bookish socks on. Yay. <laughs> Um, but those pants are actually like a little bit too short. Yeah, most pants are actually a bit short for me because I'm a tall girly, but what can you do? It has stopped raining. I'm going to the mall now and getting some things, running some errands, grabbing a cable for my podcast, for my capture card to connect my camera to my PC because my friend Sophie and I are actually starting a podcast but this podcast is only for the German girlies so like if you're a German girly or like a German person sorry I'm saying girlies but I don't know it's kind of just my usage of words <laughs> but if you're German uh, this podcast is for you because we're only going to speak in German in this podcast because I don't see myself talking fluent English for over an hour <laughs> or something like that every week but it's gonna be about like books and fangirling and taylor swift our lives mental health and all of that good stuff and i'm super excited for it like it's gonna be so much fun it's gonna be once a week and we're also gonna upload it here on youtube like we're gonna do like a separate channel and upload it over here that's my life update i'm gonna go to the mall now it has stopped raining and I'm gonna I'm gonna use that little time frame that I probably have to go to the mall.
As you can see, I'm back home. Oh my gosh, like the mall was so overwhelming. So I entered the mall and people were everywhere and I was like, holy crap. I'm completely exhausted now, which is great. Which is just great because um, yeah, that was not actually the plan for today. Like I didn't want my energy to be robbed of me just because I went to the mall for an hour. But that's how my life works, you know, it's uh, my brain can't handle all of that sensory stuff. I wanted to start filming a new reading vlog today and I will probably do that still, but like do it without like filming an intro. This is maybe super weird, but I hate filming intros to videos. I just hate being like, oh, hi, blah, blah, blah. And like looking my best at the beginning of a video. Like, I don't know. It's just something that I really struggle with. So I always do voiceovers in the beginning of videos because I just can't handle having this perfect shot for like the beginning of the video because I'm never satisfied with it. I'm never like, oh yeah, this was a really good intro and I just rather do it with a voiceover because with a voiceover I can just redo it and redo it and redo it until I'm happy with it. Um, <laughs> That's the perfectionism speaking right there, which is why I really wanted to start this little vlogging series, this little vlogging part of my channel, because I just want to be, I don't know, just unfiltered sometimes, like not try to make the perfect video that is like exactly meeting up to my standards, because that's how my brain works sometimes, like I'm just obsessing sometimes over like just little details. If you didn't know, I have ADHD and a comorbidity of anxiety and depression, like reoccurring depression, depressive episodes, something like that. And I'm always like really struggling with always trying to do my best and trying to keep up and trying to just be, you know, to just be a good person, I guess. I don't know. I've been working through that stuff in therapy. I'm in my little therapy group. We all have ADHD, which is kind of fun um, because we really get each other and we all struggle with similar issues. They also have all of these like anxiety and perfectionism issues and are like always trying to keep up with everything and all that stuff. Like that stuff just comes with ADHD because we're always told with ADHD when we're younger that we're not good enough, that we're too slow. And like people don't intend to mean it in a mean way. They just try to make us keep up more and be like, and be like more invested or like more motivated in school and stuff. That's also, I think, kind of part of a reason why I wanted to start like making just like real unfiltered vlogs. I just want to show every side of myself um, and not hide anything and not like try to be this perfect person. So yeah, I think I will start my reading vlog now. I will be filming, uh, like the title of the video is probably gonna be something like trying to keep up with my Goodreads reading goal because I'm a little bit behind. Like I'm three or four books behind my Goodreads reading goal. So it's a little bit later now, like it's 10 o'clock at night, I think. Um, I always go to bed very late. So I want to use this late hour to clean my room a bit because it, the mess has accumulated <laughs> because I am just not able to put stuff away after I've used it. I'm just gonna leave it like right where I used it. But that means I have to clean up every once in a while because if I don't, I live in a palace of accumulated stuff and unorganization and yeah, just no fun. I just really enjoy when my space is clean. So yeah, let's get rid of this mess.
Good morning! <gasps> so I just ate breakfast and today I want to film my TBR jar video, my first one. But I will first need to get ready, so let's get ready. And I'm ready, I thought, because the sun is shining right now, that I'll first film a little short reel, something like that because I got some book mail and to do like a little book unboxing even if it's just one book is always something I would just really enjoy doing and it's really simple. So that's what I'm gonna do first and after I'm gonna start filming my TBR jar video and yeah that's the plan for today. my hair back so it doesn't get in the way of my camera when I'm filming but this is the book I got Lynn Painter's new book I wasn't the biggest fan of better than the movies but I still think she writes really like fun and fast-paced rom-coms so I thought I might give this a try all right and now I'll be starting to film my TBR video but I can't film that on here, like the behind the scenes, because I need this camera. So I'll see you in a bit. Oh, this is so great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is perfect, actually. Ah. Oh. Well, I am done with filming and it was so productive. Like today was insanely productive. <laughs> like, well, how much did I do? Like I have filmed two shorts and one full video. You can kind of see my doings in the back over here. <laughs> I'm so excited to show you. By the point you're watching this video, the TBR jar prompt video will already be up so I'm gonna link it at the end of this video so you can watch it at the end of this one if you want to. I will go pick up some food now because my boyfriend has something with his back. He's been sleeping pretty badly in like a pretty bad position and he can't really control it but his back is always like dying when he wakes up and so he's been suffering a lot lately so I'm gonna pick up some food for us for me as a little reward and for him to make him feel a little bit better it's not gonna be healthy today <laughs> but you know what is healthy <laughs> I will get going now and then I will spend the evening with my boyfriend and not film much more I will see you tomorrow It's already 5 p.m. and I feel like I haven't done anything else except for working out and therapy today. I am just a little bit overwhelmed today. I'm just a little bit all over the place. And I don't really know how to continue my day now. I feel like I really need to relax. But on the other hand, I really want to get more stuff done. And oh, I'm stressed. And another thing I really need to do is to return this sunscreen that I bought and tomorrow I need to return some clothes because if I would return them through mail I would have to pay 10 euros for returning them and I don't see the sense in that so I'm going to have to go to the store to return them and I still hope that I'll be able to like film something tomorrow and continue filming my reading vlog because that is one thing that I just completely 
wasn't able to do like at all so yeah on my to-do list right now like I have this little cute list it's all in German so you won't be able to read it and I just dropped it I have to return the clothes to Hollister I have to return the sunscreen I have to cut up the podcast which I think I already kind of finished. I have to post two reels and shorts like on YouTube and on Instagram and on TikTok. Film some more for the vlog which I'm currently doing as you can tell. I have to upload the TBR video that, I'm, that I filmed and I have to finish cutting editing the TBR video. It doesn't sound like that much but it feels like a lot because I know how much time editing costs. Maybe I'll just go and return the sunscreen today and then just eat dinner and give myself time to unwind and relax a bit. <sighs> I mean my brain isn't working properly anymore and I feel like I'm just like rambling. I'm not even able to like form complete sentences right now because I'm just so exhausted. I mean I did work out already <laughs> which is kind of great. I'm pretty proud of myself for that. I'm so hyped. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but this is so cool. Oh my gosh. one of my absolute favorite albums and I needed to get it before Taylor's version comes out and oh my gosh like my mom got it for me like I didn't buy this myself but my mom got it for me and I'm so excited <laughs> let's look at the vinyls oh my gosh this is so cool oh and it's like newspaper on here. <laughs> now the other vinyl. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, how cool is that? <laughs> Oh, this is the side with getaway car. So the best side. <laughs> I'm so happy. Thank you, mom. So today on the agenda is to go to the mall and to return the Hollister stuff that I've ordered that didn't fit and then maybe buy some new stuff, maybe some new pants, like I really need new pants and I'll try to take you with me um, and film as much as I can and let's go to the mall. Your hair looks longer than last June There's so much I've been down to know about you But we've been distant, is it too soon? To call pretending it's to ask you what's new And I hope we haven't lost our way Cause it feels that way to me But I know that when I see you Oh, I never wanna be So don't be so mad I know that it's easier said than done when it feels like it's hopeless I'm begging you please hold on Maybe the reason it's hard and it's hard and It's cause I'm scared of one day they won't reply So if I said or did something that hurt you I'm sorry, I'm sorry
I am back home and I've got a little bit to show you, but I didn't buy what I expected to buy. Remember how I said I really needed new pants? As it turned out, at Hollister they didn't have the taller sizes for pants available. They only have those available online <laughs> and I was so sad, so I didn't get any clothes. But you may have seen that I went book shopping <laughs> because they had a tiny little bookstore with a tiny little English section. <laughs> so the book I ended up buying was Heartstopper by Alice Oseman and it's the fifth volume. I actually pre-ordered this one when it came out, like before it came out, but I did order the wrong edition and it didn't fit with my other editions, like the height was different. So I returned it and I never ordered a new copy. <laughs> I'm super excited for it. I feel like um, this is going to be a really great one because I feel like the beginning is like very mild, like mild story telling like not so much is happening like it's still super heartwarming and I'm absolutely loving it but not much is happening. The later we get into the series I feel like the more is happening and I also really enjoy like where it's going with the mental health talk in Heartstopper. I felt like the fourth volume was really great in that sense. I probably will read this for my next reading vlog because I'm trying to catch up with my Goodreads reading goal in the next video. As I rewatched my footage, I noticed that my bangs have gotten really long again. <laughs> that they're kind of like always hanging in my face like this. And I don't know, I feel like sometimes they're framing my face a little bit weirdly. So I thought I would cut them myself. I used to have like really straight bangs and I always used to cut them myself. It didn't look that great, <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> it might go right, but I'm also really scared because I don't trust myself. Like I don't trust myself and my decisions and my impulsivity at all. Like they always do this, look. Like I don't, I don't. <laughs> No, that's not what I want for my hair. Let's do this. I'm super scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't know. I hope you can see me like this. I know the lighting is not the best in here. I think first I'll just take my hair back. So I don't accidentally cut something that isn't supposed to be cut. As you can tell, I don't have a lot of bangs and I also don't have a lot of hair like <laughs> I just don't like that's my natural hair that's just how it is this is also not the prettiest angle <laughs> oh gosh wish me luck I'm so scared I think it's better, but let me see in light, in sunlight, not in this light. What do you think? Is it better? A bit, right? Like nothing noticeable, but I feel like it's a bit better. I will always have a few holes here and there in my bangs, but I'm used to that, so yeah. I mean, my hair is just really thin, especially after like a couple of days after washing it. Last time I washed my hair was like one and a half days ago, maybe two days ago. 
and I feel like you can tell it's just really flat and just really like pushed down onto my head because it's so thin but yeah I'm still happy with my hair even though it's not like the most voluminous and luscious hair ever I still really love it Thank you.